Hey guys, how are we doing today? I just want to take a moment to talk about the accessibility features in The Last of Us Part 2 and how they relate to collectibles because I have a feeling that the incorporation of these accessibility features have really made the need for me to make these collectible guides redundant. So I'm actually probably going to stop making collectible guides for the game now because I think that using these features in the game, you guys can go through without a guide and earn all of the collectible trophies in this game without any trouble. So I want to have a chat about that. So as I said at the top, I, I think I'm going to stop making collectible guides for The Last of Us Part 2 at this point. I worked on a ton of them, well I worked on like a dozen of them or so yesterday. Uh, they haven't performed super well on the channel. I guess that's because there's a lot of other channels that are doing that same kind of content. And I do have a couple more to upload but I'm not sure if I'll go ahead and do it or if I'll just like stop at this point. I I've been using the accessibility features and messing around with them a bit and they're so robust in the game that I genuinely believe that you can use the accessibility features to find all the collectibles without a guide. And I think it's just better for me to just share with you how to do that rather than making these guides that take a lot of time to build and probably aren't gonna help my channel grow in any way. So what I'm gonna show you now is the very beginning of The Last of Us Part Two. It's when you first get access to controlling your character. So this is the first thing you'll see in the game. So. Don't shout out spoilers or anything like that because nothing is going to be spoiled here. If you hold down the options menu and go down to accessibility, you can see there's a ton of different things that you can do here. Now one of them is under magnification and visual aids. And if you go down there and you click on high contrast display, like you can see here, there's a couple of different settings that you can choose here, which basically change the way that the game looks and appears. The, the one I've picked here, setting one, it makes your character blue. Uh, it makes enemies red and it makes anything that you can interact with yellow so that includes story related objects that includes doors that includes uh, scavenging items but it also includes every single collectible in the game so you can see here now that i'm out of the pause menu the world has changed ellie is blue and you can easily toggle in and out between those two things as i said in my previous video with the dualshock 4 controller all you got to do is swipe across here and you can toggle the the accessibility mode on and off so you can switch between the two if you want to play through the game naturally but keep switching between them you can do that really really freely and as you can see here now in the gameplay um, I'm, I'm free to kind of just wander around with that accessibility on uh, and and find all the collectibles that way so I, I thought it was worth pointing out I, I know a couple of other people have done videos about this and I, I figured I wanted to make sure I'd done my due diligence and told you guys exactly how to earn the trophies in this game and the easiest way to do that. And I genuinely just don't think that making a collectible guide is going to be the most efficient, the most efficient way of you guys getting the collectibles in the game. I think this is much, much quicker. And I also think it's not the most efficient use of my time for the channel, for giving you guys good content on the channel and for growing the channel as well because there are other bigger trophy channels and gaming channels that have done collectible guides that are just going to outperform anything that I make. A, on quality because they're better at doing it than me and B, on views just because they're bigger YouTube channels than me. So I, I'm not going to be able to compete with those guys, unfortunately. And there's nothing wrong with all the other trophy channels. I think they're great and I use them all the time, if I'm being honest. But in the terms of this specific type of trophy, I, I really do believe that these accessibility features are going to just help you more than uh, stopping and pausing a YouTube video and doing it that way. So I'm going to stop. I'm not going to upload any more um, collectible guides for The Last of Us Part 2. So sorry if you were wanting to follow my guide. I mean, if you're still wanting to follow a guide, head over to PS5 Trophies or Power PYX or literally just search on YouTube uh, collectibles and you'll find a ton of YouTube videos at this point with them. Um, those guys have done awesome guides. They always do such a great job. And uh, I would recommend checking those ones out if you're wanting to follow a walkthrough. However, my recommendation, my personal recommendation, is to use this method here and just play through the game and enjoy it. I played through the game like this uh, and kept switching between the two different settings with the touchpad trick. And it allowed me to go into an environment, flick on accessibility, look around, and then flick it back off again and keep playing the game. And, and really, that, that was probably quicker than it was to... To look at a guide so that's my personal recommendation i just wanted to, to call that out because i think it's worthwhile mentioning 
and, and hopefully it helps a couple of people out and saves you guys some time as well, which is kind of what it's all about. Hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know guys if it was. If, if there's like this resounding like disappointment that I'm not making these clickable guides, then I can still go ahead and do it. But it's it's at this stage, it's gonna take, you know, a, a decent amount of pressure from you guys to make that happen. So let me know, but yeah, that's the situation. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this video and the accessibility features in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. Um, but yeah, that's all from me guys. Hopefully you're enjoying The Last of Us Part 2 as well. I think it's out everywhere now in the world. So yay, exciting stuff. Um, all right guys, that's all from me. I'll, I'll see you in the next one.